Yo, what is up, guys? Uh, is Gamer back again? Pure Gamer back again with another Dragon Ball Super episode review on the channel. As always, every single Tuesday, every single week that there is when I can upload and when I can record and stuff like that. Every Monday or Tuesday, that's when I like to do it. Usually it's Monday, but it's whatever. I said Tuesday for whatever reason. That's besides the point. Uh, I want to say really quick, I want to apologize for possibly a shorter episode uh this week than it is usually every other week uh since i started doing these re review videos because um because there's no arc currently at the moment for dragon ball super there's not really much to go off with and it's you and it's gonna be filler just just for now and hopefully we get to see uh more uh in like the next few weeks or so but uh next week should be fairly interesting because we get to see an old character from Dra from Dragon Ball, uh, if you uh, have seen the anime, uh, but if you read the manga, it's just it's just Dragon Ball anyways, even with Super. But that's what I mean. We're gonna talk about this week with what happened in uh, this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super, and basically it's just uh, it's Goku. He's in King Kai's planet, and uh, he's uh, he's telling King Kai of the North Quadrant, of course. Uh, who was dead for like the longest time since the Cell Arc and uh, and Z? He's like, yeah, I, I think I'll go ahead and revive you. And uh, King Kai is like freaking out. He's like, oh my god, we're gonna be brought back to life. And I don't know what's the deal with him being wanting to be alive again, but it's, it's whatever, I guess. But um, at the same time as that as that's happening, we're also seeing the fact that uh, Bulma is working on the time machine again. Now, what was she planning on doing with the time machine again? I actually have no clue. Maybe some other people have theorized what she could have uh, possibly been trying to do. Maybe she's been, maybe she's trying to go back to the future with uh, uh, where Future Trunks and Future Mai are at, or Mai just in general. But who knows what she could have possibly been doing with the time machine? As far as we know, she was trying to get the time machine to start working again. And she needed some material that could only be found in the core of the planet Earth. But um, she was like, nah, that's not going to work. So we're just going to go wish for Shenron to give me the materials that we need. Whilst at the same time, uh, there are other people who also want wishes. Trunks and Goten, they're trying to figure out what they want. And they exactly don't know what they want. They just say, they're just saying that, well, because we're kids and adults always get wishes... I think it's I think it's a time for a change that we get a wish as well. <laughs> uh, but also at the same time, uh, of course, Master Roshi's gonna be there and he's gonna want um, just just hot chicks and babes and stuff like that, which he gets because Bulma she called up like whoever the fuck and she's like, yo, can you bring some girls here for like ten million zenny? And uh, a whole bunch of girls in a car showed up and Master Roshi's just freaking out, of course. Um, Android 18, uh, I actually really like uh, what they did with Android 18 in this episode because they actually show that she really does care for uh, Krillin or Kudadin, uh for those of you who watch it in the sub. Um, but it actually does show how much she's like emotionally attached to, to Krillin after all these years, you know, because uh, uh, she was with Chi Chi. And Marin, of course, and uh, they were out shopping, and then she has a thought in her head of like, "Oh, Krillin does so much for for me and Marin, and I feel like I should do something nice for him and see what he wants, because Krillin does so much for Android 18 and Marin. He's he's so emotionally attached to both uh, Android 18 and Marin, because of course, like uh, Marin is his daughter and Android 18 is his wife, but it really does show like." The, the connection of what Android 18 and, Kr and Krillin have together uh, as a family, of course, uh, with Marin as well in there. And um, she's basically just saying, uh, and what her wish was, is that she wants to know what Krillin wants. And then Bulma uh, says to 18 that um, what Krillin would say is that as long as I have, uh, as long as I have you and Marin, I don't need anything else, and he would be happy with that. And that's really what Krillin would say, honestly, because he cares so much for the both of them that he really doesn't need anything else in his life. 
he, as long as he just has the both of them right next right next to him by his side, he doesn't need anything else. As long as he has his friends, his family, he doesn't need anything. And that's awesome. That's why uh, I really like Krillin as a character because uh, he grew up as a martial artist and then uh, he settled down to be and became a family man and caring about his friends and stuff like that, which is awesome. With, uh, uh, which is awesome. I really like what they did with Android 18 as well. Uh, who else? Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck, I don't even remember his name. But, um... Uh, I'm just gonna skip over him anyway, because he didn't even get his fucking wish. And then, of course, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Oolong, that was his name. Oolong, uh, Bulma just assumed that he wanted panties. And, uh, nothing really else happened with, uh, with Oolong. But that's, that's whatever. Anyways, uh, Bulma's trying to get her wish, but... <laughs> Um, something that happened uh, in the episode is that we do see uh, Gohan and Pan again in the episode and Pan for whatever reason is extremely sick she has a high fever and um, they go ahead and use the two wishes that they hadn't used previously before to uh, to uh, make Pan feel better of course and uh, yeah we just got to see uh, baby Pan again and I gotta say I didn't like Pan and GT but I feel like for whatever reason they really redeemed her and people really like Pan as like a baby. <laughs> I think it's because like we start off with Pan as like a newborn infant infant uh, baby child. So like to the point where she's gonna start growing up of course. Which is which is uh which is what they should have done in the first place, but they didn't do that, so it's whatever. Uh, so anyways, Gohan gets his wish, Pan starts to feel better, and then uh, Goku's just there and he's like, yo, I get the last wish because I promised uh, King Kai that would revive him and then all this all this stuff happens uh bone was like well shit okay well i need my wish i need the materials that i need but uh then she's like yo if you can go to the core of the earth and grab these materials uh i'll go ahead and like you have the wish <laughs> and um that's what he does but then uh beers and uh Whis show up earlier in the episode i forgot about that and uh they show up they're eating they're done eating they see that the, the the sky is like cloudy and gray and stuff like that, and they're like, "What is Shenron doing here?" They show up to where Goku's at because they sense Goku's energy, of course. And you're like, "What the hell is going on? What are you doing here? Why are you in a place like this?" Uh, and then of course Beerus and Whis they see the materials that Goku had in his hands. It's uh, they took it and then they shattered it uh, when they were when they were uh, in confronting Bulma uh, and they knew that the material that she needed was for a time machine and along with the crystal that he destroyed he also destroyed the time machine and then the finale of the episode is uh, Goku is about to wish for King Kai and uh, and Gregory and uh, Bubbles to be revived on King Kai's planet and then for whatever reason Shenron just didn't have enough time to make the wish and he went away and King Kai was pretty upset about that. <laughs> I thought, for whatever reason, we were finally good to, we were finally gonna get to see King Kai, Bubbles, and Gregory revived. Uh, for whatever reason, they wanted to be revived, and uh, that didn't happen. And that's pretty fucking depressing. But that's whatever. So now we're gonna talk about the next episode and uh, for next week. And uh, basically, what's gonna happen? is we're gonna see Arale again. We're gonna finally see Arale again. Previously before, uh, back I think in the beginning of, what was it? Was it the Universe 6 arc? I think it was like the Universe 6 arc or something. I don't remember. It was so long ago. We, we saw a little small cameo of Arale. Oh no, it was after the Universe 6 tournament. That's what it was. It was after the Universe 6 arc. We saw a little glimpse of Arale and people were just like, oh, Raleigh, whatever. Yeah, we're probably never going to see her again. But yeah, it's fucking awesome. But um, in the preview that we see at the end of the episode, after all the credits and stuff like that, and the song, of course, uh, we see that Arale is going to make appearance next week in the, ne the next episode of Dragon Ball Super Episode 69. And that's kind of exciting because we're going to see Goku and Arale actually fight each other. And as you know, Arale was actually a very powerful... Uh, just uh, big, uh, Arale is actually an android. She was a really powerful, like just being, uh, as in general, uh, android or not. And um, over the years, Goku, of course, uh, has become basically what is a god. 
and he's super strong. So this is gonna be interesting. I th I think we also see Trunks again, and I mean, and what I mean by tr Trunks, I mean like, like future Trunks because he looked older in the. Uh, And uh, in the scene, it was very interesting. But um, we had, we actually went past 10 minutes. I didn't think there was going to be enough to talk about uh, in just this one episode as a whole. But, eh, what, what can you do? That's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about anyways, that, of what there was in the episode. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Leave a comment uh, saying what you think about Arale coming back to Dragon, uh, Dragon Ball. Uh, in the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. Uh, and if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to consider to uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Uh, next week, I will be back for episode uh, 69 for Dragon Ball Super. And uh, yeah, like I said, enjoy, like, and subscribe. Peace out, and have a wonderful day.